begging you in these things. It says here, um, this guy is using witchcraft to put blinding spirits on the lost. The information he doesn't want them to awaken to, he puts inside of a one-eyed image. The majority of Israelites who have done any kind of knowledge already know the one-eyed deception. This is the second time I've made mention of this guy's folly. The deception of the tribe of Dan is extensive. This is the truth. This is these bro these brothers are doing. They rest. They are they are completely manipulating our people with wickedness. Here's another one, and of course they come in attack too. They come in packs to attack. I post the truth about the Dan tribe as you can see, and then this other guy, No Bluffing Judah, who has recently changed his name. What is No Bluffing Judah is deception. I even acknowledge that to him that I can clearly see that this name is deception because he's really bluffing our people. He posted a video that this camp did with this star image uh, that Dan will be revealed in the kingdom. Not nah, now. Nah. That's so unbelievably deceptive. They're, they're, they're lying. <laughs> they are lying. And this guy in his post said, whoever is teaching that they are uh, the tribe of Dan is going off because they don't want these things to be discovered. And I posted that, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known from Luke 12 and 2. So that's completely contrary to the scripture. These things definitely come out. And which is why salvation is mentioned after Dan in Genesis 49 and 18. is because these things come out before our salvation. But they are hiding that. And this man is exactly what a Danite would look like. And he's trying to explain that Dan will be revealed later in the kingdom. This man is probably a Danite who came up in a, who dressed in regular clothes and asked him a question about, oh, who's Dan? And this man probably came with the it came with the explanation. Dan will be revealed in the kingdom. False. We are revealing who Dan is today. The son of perdition is being revealed. That's who the son of perdition is. Dan being revealed, but he's lying, saying it's not going to be revealed to the kingdom because they've been deceived through strong delusions to believe that they can hide who they are all the way up until the end, which misleads our people uh, tremendously, and leaves us unprotected through World War Three. But it goes deep, as I said, and they're on social media lying strongly, very strong their manipulations are. I want to go into a scripture that these things go, that goes hand in hand with what I just went into. Um, this word here in Psalms 56, Michtam of David, this word means poem, but really it's really not known. I want to go into that real quick, where it says, uh, the Michtam of David. Here it says that it means, um, it's used six times. Uh, it says here, poem, a poem, a technical term. Um, but here it says a technical term found in Psalms titles, meaning uncertain. What I found for this meaning to, to really mean is like a, a, a poem or a parable type of poem, where the words where you go precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, are the only way that you can really get the understanding of some of these things. Five of them I found definitely have um, parables that pertain to the Dan tribe. The first one is in Psalms uh, Psalm 17, I believe, and um, Psalm 16, excuse me. That one really doesn't have much about the Dan tribe, but the rest definitely do. Psalms 56, the ones that are in, in, um, in line together, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, these five definitely have Danite symbolism and Danite parables in each and every one of them. Very deep that this Miktam word is that they really don't know the understanding of. But uh, definitely in Psalms 58, <clears throat> all you have to do is go into 58 and you'll realize that this is talking about the serpent, by the way, and the adder and the path. And that Miktam uh, definitely um, categorizes five of those things. But I want to go into what it says here in, in the 56th one. Psalms 56, um, verse 1, it says, Be merciful unto me, O God, for men would swallow me up. He fighting daily oppresseth me. Mine enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me, O thou most high. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In God I will praise his word. In God I have put, have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. So several times you see daily, daily, every day. How? Every day on social media, they rest. This right here says every day they rest my words. They wrestle with my words and twist my words. They'll take your words and twist them. The words of the Most High as well as, <clears throat> as I put, 
on social media. They're twisting the scriptures. They're twisting the fact that they're among us. They're trying to do everything. They're wrestling. They, they'll uh, debate with you. They'll um, come in packs. Packs of them. Two or three of them will attack you at, a, at the same time. And if you're not strong in the precepts, they, they, uh, they definitely will bring confusion to you. But they definitely have no... They want no parts of what I bring to this knowledge. They they want no parts of it. So I found lately that they've stood clear. And really, I kind of I backed off from Instagram where I have most of these Israelites on my page because every day they rest my words. Everything I everything I do is going to be a reproof. It'd be a reproof thing every single day if I was to go on there and post it every day on Instagram. So I kind of um didn't even put the app on my on my phone anymore. I kind of just occasionally will post on it. But right here it says in 56.5, every day they rest my words. How else? As you see in my comment, he was wrestling. He's wrestling the words that, oh, I'm going off. Or I'm, um, I think you're off a little bit. Or he said, I think you're off. That, that's wrestling words. They rest our words. Because they don't want to accept the fact that they're Dan. And not only that, they're hiding it from our people. As I, I'm going to continue here, 56 and 6, it says, they gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my steps. As I said before, they're watching us. They, they're, they're watching what we're doing. They're watching who is awake. They're seeing um, who has knowledge, who's waking up to certain knowledge, and they try to do everything they can to rest their words. But this is very important. They hide themselves. Parables right there. This goes deep. Psalms 56 and 7. Shall they escape by iniquity? And thine anger cast down the people, O God. Thou tellest my wanderings, put thou my tears into thy bottle. And this is also where I found deep. Are they not in thy book? So we know who they're not written in the book of the living from Revelation 7. So he's not talking about his, put, put thou my tears into thy bottle. He's not talking about his tears being in the book. He's talking in parabolic form, like mikdam. It's a poem. It's poet. It's 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 parabolic. When you add these things together, every day they rest my words. They hide themselves. They mark my steps. Um, <clears throat> are they not in thy book? These things are precept upon precept, line upon line. Here a little, there a little for the understanding. If you don't know who the Dan tribe is, you'll definitely not understand who they who it is that hide themselves. This entire ch chapter, and uh, as I said, the other five of the. All five of the last mikdam of David is parables that pertain to the Dan tribe. And every day they wrestle our words and they're hiding themselves among us. Like the guy in my own comments said, he's hiding themselves among us. They, they're either Gad or Judah. It's impossible for to be Dan. And that's the, the same thing that keep coming with. But that's impossible because we know that these people have been confederate against us, as I said, from the beginning. From They've always been faithful allies to the people that have been oppressing us. So it's impossible for them to be Gad, Judah, or Reuben, or any other tribe other than Dan. And as I said, this is why it's written. This is why they want to hide it after Dan. Salvation. Dan shall be a servant by the way, and adder in the path that bite the horse here so that his rider shall fall backwards. I have waited for thy salvation. Deep things going on just right here in these, in these few little um, precepts. They're not going to tell you that. The Dan tribe isn't going to tell you that. And for certain, just as I told this man, Negro Indians aren't going to want to hear they're the Danites. Just as much as Caucasians don't want to hear they're the Edomites. They're, they're, it's the 12 tribes are going to have to bring this out. Judah is going to bring this out. Judah from, the, from um, Genesis 49 says, Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Our people are, are going to um, give us praise for bringing out the real truth. You go into Genesis, uh, Psalms, excuse me, you go into Psalms and you understand that Judah is my lawgiver. Psalm 60 tells you that Judah is my lawgiver. Because we are he whom thy brethren shall praise. We are going to repair the damage done by the Dan tribe to our people. And our brethren are going to give us praise for that. Now, I never, I never like to number myself among any elect of the people because the Most High can take a man out of the way at any time with iniquity. I'm a humble man, but the things that I'm bringing out are the things that Judah are going to be praised for. This comes from the tribe of Judah. 
these, this knowledge of the Dan tribe is going to come from the slave trade Negro brought here in America. So brothers and sisters, there's definitely a strong manipulation out there. As I just showed you three different posts that I, I can go into so many different witchcrafts like the all-seeing eye thing and this Drake crap. This is complete crap right here. If you can't see this, that means um, you haven't really done a lot of knowledge and understanding of exactly what's going on within the man of these wickeds. What's going on with the spirit of these wickeds that he puts up a hand sign like this inside of the top of a pyramid. And the fact that they've, this is being used to promote the truth, to promote uh, the seventh day Sabbath and them people worshiping the sun god on Sunday. The fact that he would use this for any reason other than in then some kind of manipulation. <laughs> Speak this this should speak in volumes right here. Look what they're doing to us. And this now ne this necessarily doesn't have to be an Israelite. He claims to be and he claimed before he deleted me and, and blocked me that he was an Israelite. But this could be a gov a government agent sitting behind a desk. And this for certain could be a Negro from the Dan tribe. But like I said, I showed several instances just in these three little posts of what they're doing in their devices. I think I actually got into a, a debate with the guy who, who posted this because I for certain I put it, I left his name on the post and everything. I left his comment on the post where it says whoever is teaching that they are uh, the Dan who the tribe of Dan is going off. Now I definitely told him that I'm not no Danite, but for certain, um, we know who they are. We know who the Dan tribe is. And we're waking up to the truth. And these are definitely signs of the end. And, the, and signs of the redemption of our people. These are signs of, of the salvation of our people. And we, that we have been waiting for. For centuries. Really if you go into the true understanding. We've been waiting for like 2500 years for this. And, it, and when you really understand the true nature of the elect. We've been waiting for this time that we live in. Since the Most High said let there be light. With that, brothers and sisters, I want to keep promoting and pushing our, our own individual uh, knowledge and education of this book called the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Bible. Push! I want to continue to push our people to do their own knowledge. All you need them for was to, to give you the knowledge that you're an Israelite and that precept upon precept, line upon line is how you get the understanding. After you get some of these understandings of the basic things of the tribes and, and who your brethren is and who your brethren is not, then you can understand these things for yourself. And one thing for certain, these people are set up as the heads of the people. Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Goes not just in the fact that they're teaching in the Israelite communities, but also in government and politics and uh, what you're looking at on television when you see these Negroes like Drake and Beyonce and a lot of the heads of the people already know exactly who they are. They wouldn't be the heads of the people if they didn't know who they were. So brothers and sisters, I want to say shalom, brothers and sisters, and continue the understanding, continue seeking the real truth. All praises due to the Most High.